Okay, kind of a pre-problem we have in Integrated 2 is working with generic rectangles. This is going to eventually lead to things such as factoring and also just kind of even doing long division. It's a great way of working different things going both directions. So you're going to do some thought process that helps to develop some of these ideas. So typical problem. We want to go over and we want to complete this rectangle, and it's all about area, in order to figure out what is the product of 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 times 4x minus 2. So we're going to write the area as a product and a sum, and you're going to see what that is. So each of these individual squares that you see right here, they're all rectangles. We're going to go over and define the area of this. I'm going to multiply length times width. So it's 2x squared times 4x gives me 8x cubed. Then I'm going to do 2x squared times negative 2. Well, that would be negative 4x squared. Then over here, I can do negative 3x times 4x. That's negative 12x squared. So x times x gives me x squared. Negative 3x times negative 2 will give me positive 6x. Remember, negative times negative is positive. 4x times 5 is 20x. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So now we're going to write this as a product and as a sum. My product is the outside. So I've got 4x minus 2 times 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. That's the product. The sum is what all the inside adds together. And we want to have a simplified sum, so we're going to add our like things. If you look across diagonal, these guys will combine. That gives me negative 16x squared. And then 20 plus 6x gives me 26x. So I have 8x cubed minus 16x squared plus 26x minus 10. Okay, so that's the way we have it. This is the product, and that would be the sum. Now, some of the problems are going to be where it's not just straightforward. You're going to have to do a little problem solving. So I need to figure out what goes into the rectangle. Well, right here, I can figure out this one. I have 3x times negative 2. That's negative 6x. But now I'm going to have to start thinking about what the other parts are. So I look at 18x squared, and I know it's 3x times something will give me 18x squared. Well, I need another x. Then 3 times 6 will give me 18. So this side right here must be 6x. Then, well, in order to get 10, I had negative 2 times something to give me 10, and that's what's going to go up in this upper part. So this would be negative 5. Well, once I know this is negative 5, so negative 5 times negative 2 equals positive 10. You can always check it afterwards if you're not sure. Multiply this out. I get negative 5 times 6x. That equals negative 30x. And again, this diagonal right here, we can combine when we write our sum. So my product, I've got 3x minus 5 times 6x minus 2. You could have also written as 6x minus 2 times 3x minus 5. It doesn't matter the order. Combining my terms, I have 18x squared. Negative 30x plus negative 6x gives me negative 36x, and then plus 10.